Okay, back to Excel. I want to talk about a function. Now this function came up actually as part of Project 262 where I needed to know how many work days there were in the, the given year, in this coming year, because I wanted to release a video for every single work day that we have within this year. That is my goal. You know, fingers crossed, I get there. Anyways, that's not important. What is important is how we use this function and what this function does. <clears throat> so the network days function tells me how many work days there are between two dates based on any holidays you'd like to include in that. So what this stops me from doing is, you know, okay, there's a shipment. It's going to be 20 days after the current date that it gets shipped. Well, I don't have to get out a calendar, count how many work days to give me an estimated date. I could technically use this function. Um, so in this example, I'm just going to keep it simple. I have two dates, a start date, a finish date, a list of holidays. I want to know how many days work days are between those two dates. So equals network days, not network day, so network days. And then the three arguments you have are start date and end date and holidays. So my start date I've placed in A2, so I'm just gonna either type in A2 or you can click on it. My finish date is in B2, and technically speaking, that would be enough. If I wanted to know how many work days based on a five day work week between those two dates, that would be it, and we'd stop there. If I wanna include the holidays, which is an optional argument, again, that could be a comma, and this is stored as an array, so I can put in a range of cells there with all my holidays in it. And when I hit enter, I get the number of work days between those two dates. You never have to do this manually yourself. You don't have to get out that calendar and start counting. It will do it for you. It makes your life so much simpler. Especially if we think of the fact that I might have a very long list of start dates and end dates that I wanna know how many work days are between. So because it's a formula, I could of course fill this down if this was a bunch of information. One word of warning with that, if you did fill it down, we would need to make sure those holidays, assuming they're always in the same spot, were set up as an absolute reference. And a little tip for you here, as part of a bonus for this video, if you highlight a range and hit F4, it will automatically make it an absolute reference. Now, if you don't know what an absolute reference is, you can ignore that, and I'll go over it in a later video. But once you make it an absolute reference, you could fill that down, the holidays are always gonna be in those cells. So there's network days. If you have a use for it, it'd probably save you a ton of time. If you don't, well now you just know one more function in Excel.